In the heart of the Mexican state of Jalisco, nestled amidst the bustling streets of Guadalajara, a significant event was unfolding. This was not your ordinary day in the city. The government had located a man they had been searching for, for what seemed like an eternity, this man was not just any individual, he was an influential figure, a respected gentleman, a person of power. His name, Ignacio Nacho Coronel. Nacho Coronel, a notorious name that sent shivers down the spine of anyone who dared utter it. A pivotal member of the Sinaloa cartel, he held a position of significant authority overseeing operations in Guadalajara, Jalisco. His influence was so paramount that he was often seen in the company of the infamous Joaquin El Chapo Guzman and Ismael El Mayo Zambada, two of the most feared drug lords in history. However, on this fateful day, the face of the man that many feared remained hidden from the public eye. Instead, the scene that unfolded was one of intense confrontation. Soldiers, heavily armed, were at the forefront. The tension in the air was palpable. Nacho was cornered, but like a true colonel, he decided to face them head on. What ensued was nothing short of a battlefield. The quiet city street transformed into a war zone, echoing with the deafening sound of gunfire. Different weapons, each more lethal than the last, were tearing things apart. The once bustling streets of Guadalajara were now empty as people evacuated the area, leaving behind a chilling silence. Despite the odds stacked against him, Nacho stood his ground, but he was surrounded and death was closing in. His demise seemed inevitable, Yet he held on, fighting till his last breath. The man who once held Guadalajara in his grasp was now fighting for his life. The final moments were intense. The gunfire ceased and an eerie silence fell over the city. The colonel, the respected gentleman, the man of power, Nacho Coronel, was no more. He had fought valiantly, but ultimately he met his end. The man once feared by many was now a memory, a tale of power, resistance and an inevitable end. In summary, the events that transpired that day in Jalisco were a stark reminder of the volatile nature of power. Nacho Coronel, a man of immense influence, met a tragic end despite his fierce resistance. His demise marked the end of an era, but his legacy as a respected gentleman and a powerful figure in the Sinaloa cartel continues to live on.